Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do February readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, these are general readings, so if they resonate with you, that's great. I hope they do. And if not, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Um, if you want to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. Uh, they're $20 a piece. And I also coach through them. So if you get stuck, give me a shout. And um, my mystery healing boxes, small, medium, and large. They make great gifts. And I have the travel size now, too. Again, check that out or give me a shout. Oh, I should have started off saying this. And uh, relationship readings for the month of February are going to be $60 instead of $70 for the month of love. Now, all that being said, cancer. Let's see what shake with you in February. Cancer, do you have your suspicions about someone or a group of people? Let's find out. At the bottom of the deck. Ah, might be very suspicious. Cancer, you have the Page of Cups. Now, this comes from your suit as well as Pisces and Scorpio. He's a messenger. A messenger of something heartfelt. A sentimental gesture. It could be something as a compliment. You know, asking someone out. Or it could be an apology, too. Hmm. So let's see how that applies here, Cancer. Let's get it. We're going to start off with Major Arcana, the Empress. Now, usually depicted as a Libra or a Taurus. But she's a little bit of all the queens. Seeing how she's queen of all queens. She is practical and methodical and kind and successful, analytical, Sometimes it means pregnancy. But she can take an idea, birth it into the here and now, and make it successful. She's admired for her kindness. She's a great mother. And what's crossing you to help or hinder, you get the Queen of Wands. Now, she comes from the suit of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who has these qualities. She's very creative, passionate for what she does. She has drive. She's motivated. She go gets it done. So cancer. Either you're dealing with a fire-like person. Or you're revved up about something. Something you think maybe like it's maybe your own business. You're feeling creative. Maybe you are bringing something in. You know to the here and the now. A creative endeavor. Because in your foundation, Cancer, you have the Seven of Cups. Now, in the right of weight, this would be confusion. You know, not everything in the cups look good. But in the Gilded Tarot, everything in each cup looks great. Which one do you pick? Cancer, you have options here. You might have options in, you know, friendship, partnership, love ships. Any one of those ships. And Cancer, I'm kind of getting the feeling that uh, people are drawn to you. You know, you, you're attracting, whether you know it or not. But what's crowning your whole reading here, Cancer, get the moon. Now, the moon likes to hide things. Lies, secrets, deception, fear. It's about intuition. Deep consciousness. Cancer, maybe somebody has secret feelings for you. Maybe you just think they're a friend. You know, a buddy or a pal or just an associate. But I think somebody here does want to make you an offer. Now, Cancer, this could be your energy you're putting out or... 
somebody else's that you're dealing with here. But there's something that you don't see clearly. And I think it's because you're not looking at them the way that they're looking at you. Now, in your recent past, you have the Hierophant, known as the Taurus card. Higher institutes of learning. Oops, could be marriage. A traditional or conventional way of doing things, having a moral standard. Cancer, maybe you uh, set your standards high. But I think you like to do things in a traditional way. I think you like, you know, when you're dating, you know, being courted. You know, the way things are supposed to be done. And I think you value that. And you want other people to value that as well. You know, respect boundary lines and all that good jazz. But it goes beyond that with the moon here. Going into your future, I can't say you have the Six of Wands. This is coming back from a battle, being victorious, overcoming a battle. It's about getting props, accolades, recognition. And like I said, Cancer, if you brought in this new year, you know, with these new creative endeavors and ideas and stuff, and, you know, you're putting stuff into action, you're drawing my attention. Even if it's not that, you know, maybe do your hair different. A diet, a regiment, something like that. Whatever you're doing just to make yourself feel just a little bit different or improve yourself, no matter what it is. People are watching, people are looking, and they're noticing. <laughs> they're noticing even when you don't notice. <laughs> How people see you in your environment, Cancer, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Now, she normally comes from the arena of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who is Earth-like. They're grounded, practical, methodical, well-planned and scheduled. They're good with their coin. And they're very easy, you know, going. They're very easy to talk to. They love the outdoors. And Cancer, people are seeing you like this, you know, that it's so easy to talk to. It's like, you you know, you understand them. You know where they're coming from. You know, kind of maybe a little bit laid back. And that, Cancer, makes it easier for someone to be more attracted to you. You know, they feel like they're on some sort of connection with you. Now, in your environment, Cancer, you have the Eight of Cups. And this is the emotionally walking away. You know, it's, he sips from every cup and it's just not cutting it. So he goes into the abyss to find something that's more emotionally fulfilling. Going into the abyss. So Cancer, you know, whether you're fresh out of a relationship, friendship, partnership, whatever, and you're just working on you, your wants, your needs, you might have walked away from some something, turned your back on it, but they didn't forget you. <laughs> and there might be a reason here, Cancer, why... <clears throat> Maybe you friend zoned somebody or you keep some sort of distance. And you're a very intuitive sign, Cancer. So maybe just picking up, you know, a weird vibe. Yeah, yeah, we're friends. You know, I'll call me. Don't call me. Type thing. Because in your hopes and fears, Cancer, you have the Seven of Swords, a.k.a. the thief. You know, the frenemy. Yes, they steal your material things, but they also steal your ideas, your hopes, your dreams. And yes, they can steal your heart. But they like to come in like a whirlwind and stir, stir up a bunch of BS and then walk out like they never had anything to do with it. This is the person that ghosts you in the middle of the night. And it's definitely a fear. Cancer. You know, maybe you are meeting a lot of people and some, certain ones just give you that weird vibe. And that's all right. 
Get to trust your intuition. You know, and if you have, if you have to friend zone people just because they, you don't feel that like connection with them, fine. Dandy, great. You stay over there. I got more important things to do. You know, as subtle as you can make it. And if you get that feeling, Cancer, and you don't know why, nine out of ten times, you're probably right. Now, your outcome card here is the three of pentacles. Booyah. Here's being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Being recognized for that great person that you are, Cancer. And again, that person's put a shine on that one pentacle. It's a little bit more special than the others. And again, props, accolades, recognition. So, Cancer, you get it going on here. Like I said, you are very attractive. More attractive than you think. And if this is, you know, if you're just trying to get recognition for your work and then somebody's catching feelings here. Okay, so just be aware that somebody around you is very attracted to you. I don't feel stalker. But you might not see the way they feel. And I think it is different. If you're thinking somebody's sketchy. A cancer, maybe they're here to steal your heart. So just keep your eye out. That's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.